everyone wonders what my favorite video game is. It's not the one that this character is. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my favorite video game character. So, what makes Harl your favorite video game character? Um, one, she's she's cool looking. So there's that. Um, she is very um, complicated and and plays a big role, but doesn't quite know how know what to do. And and she's just so conflicted. It's it's a a very interesting character in a very weird game. <laughs> yeah, I wish I got to use her the whole game. She was like a, a main party asset for me. I really, and you know, there's there's a couple dark, you know, the, the, the color scheme, I don't even know exactly what I mean, but she's like in the, the black category. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and of those, I really liked her. She was really cool. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was cool just trying to piece together what exactly she was and and who her allies were because she was she was so back and forth and it it I liked that she she was like a secret agent like a double double agent but like still she got emotionally attached in parts of it and it was I just find her so interesting. Yeah, and even then she was like a double agent who was also a pawn, an unknowing pawn. Yeah. It's, that game is so complicated. It's like <laughs> I couldn't piece it together. Anybody that thinks they can is lying. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it literally doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's making sense out of the nonsensical. Right. Cool game though. I I miss that. I would love to play it again. And it's on Switch. I was debating and Xbox. I was debating just getting it. I bought it on principle on the PS5 as soon as it came out. So mm. I'm always down to play it again. Just just to be like, put my my two cents in that I'm supporting this this franchise. Right. Even if that's not necessarily the one. I think I would rather see them remake Chrono Trigger. Okay. And just 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 remake it. Like however they want to make it, action based, whatever. I already, I already have a turn based version, so I'm cool with that. They can remake it however they they want. But I'm just I'd be curious to see them remake that game. Mm -hmm. I, I have some interesting thoughts on Chrono Trigger as I get older. Um, I consider it a joke at this point. Mm -hmm. Like it's just a joke, and it's a really good joke. It's like a parody of RPGs or something. Yeah, exactly. Even the items I realize are jokes. Like at the end of the game, the gold stud, right? It reduces ca cost of casting by like seventy five percent. Like what? A, it's like an inherently stupid item, and like insanely overpowered. I think, I think, I think the rainbow sword has like a seventy-five percent crit chance. It's like uh -huh. dumb, <laughs> but it's it's just like funny. Like it's a joke. Yeah, it's, a it's just a rainbow really, sword. Yeah, it's just like a really good joke. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean yeah. The, the concept of the noble frog. Exactly. Yeah. All of the stories, they're they're just like. Making fun of, you know, whatever story they're trying to tell, like a robot that's from the future that that actually is like a human. Uh huh. He's just like he's supposed to kill humans, but he just kind of likes them. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's just yeah. stupid. But he's it's which, which, humanity which, too. Yeah, which, which then makes Chrono Cross like worse and worse as I get older, because it was like to me Chrono Cross is like we didn't get the joke. And we th we're like trying to make this like this super serious, important RPG, and it's like, oh, you just forgot that Chrono Trigger was like a joke. Yeah, well, it was like forcing it because... the connections to the joke that is Chrono Trigger. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, and what if like Robo did this because he was? It's like, no, he was like a joke because he he liked the humans even <laughs> though he was supposed to kill them. Like that was he was just a joke. But what if that's like, the oh, joke wow. yeah. of Chrono Cross? Is you know, like people taking the Chrono Trigger story too seriously? Wow, <laughs> that is uh, that is some three D chess. If that's what they were doing, that is pretty or four D chess. That that is <laughs> insane. Like, let's throw a wrench in it. Let's just uh, you know what? Halfway Gary through, Kraft. let's just decide that it actually does connect to Chrono Trigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that would be amazing. <laughs> I think I like reinventing it that way. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, it's such a cool, like, presentation-wise game, though. I do wish, though, that, like, you were talking about weight before, like, your gameplay had more weight. Like, the fact that, like, every character levels up at once, and it basically makes any party that you make essentially meaningless because you could swap them out at any time. I do like that you can, that, like, attacks and, you know, attacks are equippable on anybody. You know, you could do any type of attack. Yeah. Um... No, yeah, there's good things and there's there's ways to improve it. I really love the battle system, but again, with like out without experience even. Like on the remake, they they made modes where it's just there is no battles. There are no battles outside of like the boss fights. They're that useless. That makes sense. So, yeah, cuz there's no grinding. Yeah, I mean, you can only grind what you, like after a boss fight, you fight like three battles and you get like a couple points here and there mm-hmm. like what a what a waste like what's <laughs> a, what a what a complete waste it's like ugh, that it's game pretty, yeah. I, for how much i love it that game is so frustrating it's like watching a child that's like an idiot <laughs> it's like i i really want to love you but you're freaking broken maybe that's another joke you know like against like typical turn-based mechanics you know how everyone tends yeah. to grind their over grind their levels well now you can that could yeah they're like fuck you Go ahead. Try it over grind. Just try it. Grind. Grind. Go ahead and battle ten enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly mocking yeah. the person playing it. It's it's a game. It's a love hate relationship. It's made oh, yeah. to be hated. Seems like it. Yeah, but there's so much to love. That's what I, I'm conflicted. I'm a horror. Very. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm. I agree. I'm right there with you. What if we? It's were like it, it was my first. It was my first PS One game that I owned. Really, I played the shit out of it, and I was like, "This game is great." Um, but then as like time went on, and I played it more, and really started comparing it to Chrono Trigger, I'm just like, "This game's kind of dumb." Mm-hmm. <laughs> did, you, did you buy a PS One so you could play this game? Not specifically, but it was the first, like, I went to GameStop, I remember, and I bought the PS, PS1, like, the smaller the smaller version. Not the, I guess there's, like, a PSX and then a PS1. And I bought a PS1, and then that was the game I bought, because it was like, oh, is, is this the sequel to Chrono Trigger? Cool. And then was very confused oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for a while there. But, I mean, I, dude... When I when I saw uh, Chrono, Luca, and Marl at like the end of time, or the Sea of the Sea of Eden or whatever it was, I freaking popped. Oh, yeah. I was like, "What? There they are!" And my friends that are watching me play, like, "What are you? <laughs> what? They're like three children." I was like, "You don't <laughs> get it. You don't. You don't understand." Oh so. man, it wasn't cool. as impactful for me. But, you know, I, I definitely, it clicked when I got to that point where I was like, oh, it is a chrono. Yeah, it is a sequel. sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Had me fooled for a while. There's some cool Easter eggs. Like in, in, a Link's, in Link's castle or whatever, pretty early on, you, you visit there like you're breaking in. Or the Pi- Viper Mansion. Uh, if you go down, da- you can go down into like a cellar and the epic is in there. Like you can literally walk on it, mm. which is really what a cool. E- I did definitely didn't catch that my first playthrough, but you can it's it's trippy to see that. It's like, oh, shit. This guy, I remember him. Which one was the epic? The the space, the, the ship that you flew around, you in Chrono Trigger? Oh, when you said this guy, you meant like the ship. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. I got confused. Yeah, I remember yeah. seeing it at some point, but I don't know. Yeah, and then uh, disc two is is really where like the the nostalgia kicks into play because you're going through like that computer room, and I think they're playing yeah. some of the flashbacks. Yeah, and they'll show like pictures of Lavos, mm-hmm. like the kind of like the ones that you saw in the the future in Chrono Trigger. That's what I loved was like just the brain teaser elements like even though i couldn't make sense of it like just the act of like like okay 
this is documenting the end of the world, but I'm here now. So how did this happen? You know, it's just like, I'm naturally like asking myself these questions while I'm playing. Yeah. Too bad it ended up being like lost. <laughs> yeah. It's like a lot days, of good questions, yeah. Yeah. like a lot of good thoughts, a lot of good questions to ask and a lot of like cool ideas. And you're just like, I can't wait to see what, what how it all comes together. And it's like, oh, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. That's how <laughs> it doesn't come together at all. <laughs> there is, I swear. I mean, if we probably just sat down with like, you know, the scripts or something or after two subsequent playthroughs, there is probably somewhere there is a quick fix in that game. It's probably right after that. Could be. If you just tweak this element to the story, you know. Surge is freaking Chronos biological, you know, great great grandchild or something. I don't know. That'd be tough because he was it was like right after. Oh was or it? Or shortly after. <sighs> hmm. I don't have the lore I think. to, to because because kid, kid was was Scala, who was taken in by Luca. In her orphanage, kid is Scala. Scala was the the sister to Magus, Magus, Magus? or Janus, at the time. Oh, okay. And okay, and again, it just the game, the story is nonsense. But I'll just say it as I, as I understand it. Right, Scala. Scala, whatever you call it, Scala, Scala. She, uh, <laughs> she has been captured by the Dream Devourer, okay. stupid enemy, and she transfers her her persona, her character, her essence, her something, <laughs> and turns it into a child that Luca takes care of. Okay. I don't know how. I don't know what the magic is. I don't know whatever. But there you have it. So it's like, I don't know. It's more nonsense from the, that series. Wait, the child is kid? Yeah. Okay. Who is who is an essence of Scala. Okay. Trying to get Surge. Basically, her destiny is to get Surge to do, to kickstart his journey yeah and something emotion. about navigating the two parallel timelines so cool concept doesn't happen or happens i don't i don't, I don't remember too it's well at this point it's a mess it's an absolute mess but it's fun while it lasts <laughs> search could be like a memory wiped chrono or something you know and like transplanted but the the complete different like physical appearance doesn't really communicate that they're kids in the flashback right he's like he's visited by like chrono and marl yeah i think they are kids like little like little versions of themselves okay well i think the story everybody wanted was magus uh -huh. that's the one everybody was looking for and obviously, we talked about it a little bit in the archive, but it originally, and in, in the Radical Dreamers, um, Magus was Guile. Mm -hmm. But that all got scrapped, probably for better, because the story was already incredibly complicated. But it's just so now it's not even remotely what the story that anybody wanted. It's just all it's like a separate. It really is just fan fiction. Mm -hmm. is what Chrono Cross should be looked at as. Yeah, and you know what What really cements it as a joke to me is the ending credits sequence where Kid is literally just wandering around New York City and <laughs> just freaking idling. Yeah. Like, that's like, okay, yeah, there is zero correlation here. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Yeah, that's like I give up, throw up the white flags, like on the developers' part. Yep, we yeah, tried. <laughs> Chrono Cross uh, in, on the box <laughs> art, right? Two words. We tried. 
Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you get Guile. He's a shell of Magus. That's what you get. But it's like, at the time, that's what PlayStation RPGs were, right? Like, PlayStation RPGs, as much as I love them, they're also like, their stories are just bonkers. I don't know why they had to go so overboard. Like, even Final Fantasy VII, it's just, it turns into just nonsense. Hmm. Like, why do they have to do that? Nine, it does that. Eight is like, forget it. Mm -hmm. Forget about eight. Like, it's just, it doesn't, it's just absolute garbage. Xeno Gears, I hear, gets pretty crazy in the second. I heard they ran out of time, just like they did on this one. So the, the second disc is pretty, meh. Um... It's just unfortunate that they had, they thought that they like games had to be that. Like that's more adult. Was just complicated, like needlessly convoluted. And Chrono Trigger, it, as, as Chrono Trigger is a joke, but that's the sad part about it to me is that it's also like, it's not only a joke, but it's also so much better <laughs> than most of those games in like every way. And yeah. they just didn't care. It's like, hey, if you just don't care and make like just a stupid game. It's a better story than if you really try. That's you know what it's it's got to be a PlayStation '90s edge lord thing. Yeah, that's for the sure. Theme. The final it always goes back to Final Fantasy VII, you know, and maybe it's because I don't I don't know we don't have the years. Maybe seven was '98, and I think Chrono Cross was '99 or 2000. Thousand, but I mean, you could maybe the halfway point. Where they started like going crazy with the story was when they saw the success of Final Fantasy VII. I don't know. Could be. And they're like, we gotta, we gotta make it like super, you know, teched out. Like you gotta try and figure this out, but it actually doesn't end up making sense in the end. Because I can't make sense of Final Fantasy VII. No. That's it's making like... sense of nonsense to me. To, like, there's no point. Yeah, Cloud isn't Cloud. It's he he's got his memory from some from Zach. And then that like by that point my brain just kind of goes numb. Right, and then we're reliving the same Cloud mansion sequence but as Cloud looking at Cloud and I'm like and this is the game that like nobody shuts the hell up about. I I don't it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> well, the game is Midgar. Final Fantasy VII is Midgar, and that is phenomenal. So why? And can't... then everything else, <laughs> yeah, everything else after it, everything after Midgar is just like Final Fantasy, like generic almost. Yeah. And it's like, but everyone remembers Midgar because it was so cool and unique and like moody and badass. And that's pretty much what the the remake is for so far. It's just Midgar. So why can't Chrono Cross be Termina? you know, pre-links. Can it? Are you saying, like, did, where did it jump the shark? <laughs> <laughs> um, like, like it was a good at Termina, and then you go to, you learn about links, and then it's, like, starts to nosedive? Yeah, well, where do you think the nosedive is? Um... I would say it's at its peak when you're at the sea of the Dead Sea. That is like one of my favorite moments in video games is going to the Dead Sea. That's right at the and disc like, switch too. Yeah. And like the water is frozen. Mm -hmm. And you get to walk around in it like, holy shit, that's freaking awesome. And you get to see like glimpses of the future. And then you're because that, that's when like all the cool questions get posed. It's like, what is this? Like, what is this? And then you're watching them try to explain it after and it's like, Oh no, this is not. <laughs> Maybe you should just edit think, that disc yeah. one and just been like to be continued. <laughs> like we'll figure this oh, shit man. out. <laughs> That'd have been amazing. Oh, yeah. Cause if I could explore more of the dead sea, Oh, that would be, that'd be phenomenal. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Time travel will always be tricky to navigate on the one hand it's good because it like raises the questions but on the other it's just logic yeah <laughs> you can't make sense of the questions yeah